the whole game is played through the prism of the three pillars of misery. Right, Jamila? Yeah, I'm not on the phone. These we're, are, um, these we're, are not, we're not going to address this. I think oh, we're going I'm getting right there. I'm getting right there. The th one of the three pillars is physical pain, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Emotional trauma, mm -hmm. long-term psychological impact. So yesterday, Jamila had a fight with a cookie. <laughs> uh, she's lost three teeth, bruised herself badly, eight hours of surgery well, you should have seen with the a hammer <laughs> <laughs> no cookie? and no painkillers because her tummy gets upset. Joe and Q, where does that fall in the misery index within 10 points? Two hours with a hammer. Two hours. And a then, real hammer. And then how many, did you end up getting hammer. stitches? 43 stitches. 43 <laughs> stitches. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's, I say that's, the misery index, I say that's guys. an 80. Yeah. 80. If, if, if you could sit you can never a, eat a cookie again. Yeah, you the can. same no, way. You're, you're done with cookies. That's not true. I, I, I can, I, I, you eat cookies all the time. I know. So imagine for me, it's an eight. No, I'm saying you, somebody could pull all your teeth and you'd still be eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think if you didn't have to look at, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't have shown up today if I was you. <laughs> I, I'd be home high as a kite, like watching Lost reruns. I'm still high as a kite. Right. Okay. So if you had stayed home. She thinks she's on Lost right now. <laughs> Where's the hat? <laughs> if, if, I, if you were home right now in bed watching TV and, and just high as a kite, I'd give it like a 30. But since you're here, I'm going to give it like a 75, 80. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Good one. Yeah. It's not actually good the score. worst fight I've ever had with a cookie. Uh, season help. one of The Good Place, I was, I uh, have a 30 day rule with food on the floor. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> so I was drinking my morning coffee, uh, I was about to go to work, and then I saw a cookie on the floor and I was like, I cleaned my house like a month ago. That's like, it's fresh. So I went to grab it at haste uh, and uh, knocked myself out in the corner of my side table, right in the, the softest part of my brain, was knocked out cold for like an hour, uh, then had to go to, got, woke up somehow by a miracle, uh, went, woke up, went to work as if nothing had happened and got into my makeup chair and while in the makeup chair, suddenly I started to pass out and I didn't remember that I'd had a concussion. So the last thing I said to my makeup artist was, Someone put date rape drug in my blueberries and then I just <laughs> passed out <laughs> unconscious and I woke up 10 minutes later and there are, there are, uh, there's a drug squad in the good place <laughs> looking through all of the trash cans and testing my blueberries for drugs. Uh, and uh, I had uh, seizures for three months after that. Oh, wow. so, right, okay, okay, but did yeah. you get the cookie? <laughs> I never got the fuck That is the tragedy. Oh, that that is, tragedy. is the tragedy. I am done with cookies. Uh. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about her. She has a billion stories. Every time I talk to her, there's a, there's a new story like that yeah. that comes out that involves something that you would be like, that is terrible. terrible. It seems I, to happen to you on a weekly I'm going, basis. I'm going method for the show. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're only the host. <laughs> Andy Breckman, is well, this is this well, an inspiration? For well, me, it is inspirational. Any football coach will tell you that the great ones play hurt, and so I think it's just amazing that she's here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Andy, tell us about the origin story of Shit Happens and the Misery Index. Uh, well, in my spare time, I have a toy and game company, and. Uh, about four years ago, and you guys are probably better at the timeline than me. <laughs> About four years ago, I uh, had a friend who was going through a, a tough divorce, and uh, I took him out for uh, drinks with a couple of other guys, and he was kind of uh, wallowing in it, and he said, uh, he said this. He said, uh, well, this is the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to, uh, to me. And uh, everyone kind of nodded in agreement, but I... I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I kind of raised my hand. I don't know why, but I kind of pushed back and I said, "Well, it's bad, no question. You're having a tough, a tough week. But is it the worst thing that could happen? For example, uh, if you found a, a dead hooker in your bed, would that be worse <laughs> than uh, this?" And uh, we kind of all took it seriously and we started to debate it. By the way, please say he said yes, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, he, but, and, then, and then somebody else, one of my other uh, asshole it friends. It seems like one would lead to the other. <laughs> it should, exactly. <laughs> it yeah, place. how could it not? Yeah, exactly. One would come first. Yeah. And the other one said, how about getting uh, hit by lightning? Would that be, where would that fall? And we began to seriously debate where these things would fall in relation to each other. And I had the wherewithal to say uh, there might be a game here, that, uh, that uh, if we could just find a way 
to, uh, to rate each of these events. And so I, I created 100 event cards. I, I wrote a list of 100 horrible events, which was surprisingly easy <laughs> for me. And uh, yeah, sent, you just had a phone call. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tell me right. about your week. OK. <laughs> 60, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> 60, 60 of them out of 100. Were just, and uh, I sent them to my sister. She's a therapist. And she had some friends uh, look over the list and rate each one. And I had a game. And I put the game on Kickstarter, you know, a crowdfunding site. And uh, that was probably the smartest thing I ever did because uh, my friends, uh, uh, the Newmark brothers, uh, were watching Kickstarter and, uh, and they took, took it from there. Yeah, we weren't just randomly watching Kickstarter all day, <laughs> but we did, we did see it and um, we, we, we were like, wait a minute. The creator of Monk created this sick, <laughs> twisted <laughs> card game that begs the question, what like, how miserable would it be if you watched a porno of your parents? Oh. Right? Where would you rate that? Where would you rate that? Not bad. Not that bad, right? Depends on your parents. That's yeah. right. Um, if I'm high and at home again, 30. 30. 30. 30. How about a par uh, porno uh, of your parents with your parents? That's a little, that's a, that's a wrinkle. So we thought, so, so we thought, okay, so we have this great card game, but how do we blow this up into a TV show? And we started kicking around some ideas and came across some really funny videos and headlines and thought, man, this stuff, you know, you don't just need him to make it up. This stuff happens to everybody. Uh, and that's when it all kind of started. We just kind of brainstormed around about how to, how to blow it up and use videos and headlines and real life stories and the rest we, was history. Because we all see the viral videos that we watch on a daily basis and we thought, how amazing would it be if we sent this to a panel of mental health professionals <laughs> and had them rate and try and actually find the real misery if it happened to you and then play a game with it.